here is something super interesting about our bodies. They start getting ready to handle food the moment we think about eating. When you see a yummy meal, smell something delicious or even the picture of your favorite snack, your body gets a jump start. It begins preparing to break down food so that it can take in all good stuff like energy and nutrients. Now what does this breakdown mean? Breakdown means the food that we eat is getting converted into its nutrients. This process of breaking down food and absorbing nutrients is called digestion. The group of organs that carries out this process is known as the digestive system and for us humans it's known as human digestive system. So even before you take the first bite, your digestive system is already gearing up to do its job. How cool is that? In this video, we are going to explore the amazing journey that food takes through our complex human digestive system and also answer this curious question. How does body starts preparing even with the thought of a food? Let's jump right into it. The human digestive system includes the alimentary canal, which is a long passage made up of several organs that extends from mouth to anus. It all begins in the mouth, or as scientists call it, the oral cavity. When you munch on that crunchy apple, your teeth are at hard work chopping and grinding food. But there is more to it. Your tongue helps mix the food with saliva, which is produced by salivary gland. Now, what are salivary glands? These are special organs that produce chemicals which aid in digestion. Or in another words, help break down food. Saliva not only moistens the food, it makes it easier to swallow. But it also starts breaking down the carbohydrate, kicking start the digestion process. So in a way, digestion actually begins in the mouth. The moistened, partially digested food is then pushed by the tongue to the next part of the alimentary canal or the next part of the digestive system. That next part is a stretchy tube that connects our mouth to our stomach called esophagus or esophagus. Food doesn't just drop down this tube, instead muscles in esophagus squeeze the food down in a wave-like motion known as peristalsis. This tube extends from back of the throat to the opening of the stomach guiding the food along its journey. It's important to note that no digestion takes place in esophagus. Now the food is moved to the next part of alimentary canal. Welcome to the stomach. The body's mixing bowel. Here the stomach mixes and churns food with gastric juices or digestive juices, which are special chemicals produced by the stomach to help break down food particles. Surrounding stomach are other important organs called glands. Glands, remember, are special organs that produce chemicals to support digestion. The important one about the stomach is the liver, which produces an important chemical called bile juice. And just below the liver is gallbladder, which stores bile juice and releases it when needed. Below the stomach is another important gland called pancreas, which produces pancreatic juice. These are important chemicals that helps in the breakdown of the food. Now, with the help of gastric juice or digestive juice produced by the stomach, the stomach churns and breaks down the food further before sending it to the next part of alimentary canal known as the small intestine. The small intestine is the longest part of alimentary canal. A long tube-like structure which is about 6.7 meters long or imagine lining up around 22 notebooks in a row. This lengthy tube though is very neatly packed into your abdomen. In the small intestine, the bile juice which is produced by the liver and the pancreatic juice which is produced by the pancreas 
help to completely break down the food. By this stage, all the food is completely broken down and absorbed by the body through the small intestine. The remaining undigested food along with water and minerals is then pushed to next part of alimentary canal, the large intestine. We can say that digestion is completed in small intestine. The next part of the alimentary canal is known as large intestine. As the name suggests, large intestine has a large diameter than small intestine. It is also a tube-like structure, fatter than the small intestine and it is overall 1.5 meters long. In large intestine, water and some minerals are absorbed while the remaining undigested food or undigested waste is moved to the next part of alimentary canal that is rectum where it will eventually leave the body. It is important to note that no digestion takes place in large intestine. And here we are and the food at the last part of alimentary canal that is rectum and anus. The large intestine pushes the undigested solid waste to rectum where it is stored until it is ready to be removed through the anus. That was quite a journey for the food from the oral cavity all the way to the anus. Digestion begins in the mouth where the salivary glands produce saliva that starts breaking down the food. So we can say digestion starts in the mouth. The food with the help of tongue is then pushed into the next part of the alimentary canal that is esophagus. In the esophagus, the food is squeezed down through a wave-like motion called peristalsis. Next, the food reaches the stomach where digestion continues with the help of gastric juices. What are gastric juices? These are special chemicals that aid in breaking down the food. After that, the partially broken down food moves into small intestine. Here, the digestion is completed. The digestion is completed with the help of bile juice which is produced by the liver and this bile juice is stored in the gallbladder until it is needed. The digestion in the small intestine is completed with the help of pancreatic juice as well which is produced by the pancreas and once the food is completely broken down the small intestine absorbs the nutrients. The remaining undigested waste along with some water and minerals is then pushed to large intestine where water and other minerals are absorbed. The undigested waste is then moved to rectum and anus where rectum stores it and disposes the waste through anus. And that's the amazing journey of food through our digestive system.